Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to be taking you through how to set up 301 redirects in Squarespace. But before we get into that, let's just quickly cover what a 301 redirect is and exactly why it's important. Now a 301 redirect is a permanent redirect that lets Google and visitors know that a page has now been redirected to a new URL. Now there are a number of reasons why we may want to do a 301 redirect on our Squarespace website and there are two main reasons that I see. First of all when we just want to remove a web page on our website as our website evolves there may be pages that we once had on there that we no longer want to have and we don't just want to delete them we want to remove them and then add a 301 redirect so our SEO doesn't drop. The second reason is to follow SEO best practices. And I have a lot of experience with that because we are the creator of the SEO plugin for Squarespace. As you can see here, it pops up on any Squarespace website and gives you a traffic light checklist with recommendations to follow in order to boost your SEO and increase your rankings. And one of the things that we check on here is your URL. We make sure that your URL is optimized for search engines. And if you're URL isn't optimized for search engines, then we'll recommend that you change your URL. However, when you do this, you always need to do a through on redirect. And now I'm going to take you through exactly how to do that on the Squarespace editor. Now, in terms of how we actually add them on Squarespace, all you want to do is go to settings. And then what I always do, because Squarespace has recently changed its dashboard, there are two ways that you can get to the place to do URL redirects. Either you can go on search and type in redirects and you can click on URL mappings here or you just go down to developer tools URL mappings and then you're here you're on the URL map mapping section of Squarespace and this is where you need to add the 301 redirect so as you can see here I've already got a number of them in there and it shows the exact format that you need to follow and in fact Squarespace has got an example here so you do the original URL a little arrow the new URL the redirect type which in this case you'll just put 301 so as you can see here on my website I used to just have Squarespace SEO checklist so no blog beforehand however I then added that page to my blog so because this page didn't exist anymore and I added it to my blog I needed to create a 301 redirect from this page all the way to the new page on the blog section and then a 301 redirect so after you've done that after you've added a new 301 redirect you'll see the save button appear all you need to do is then press save after which the 301 redirect would have been successfully applied and what i do recommend you do at this point is go to your google search console to resubmit your sitemap which if you're unsure how to do that head over to my youtube channel i've got a video about how to get squarespace websites on page one of google which covers the whole step of submitting your sitemap to Google. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to learn more tips about how to drive organic traffic to your website, then feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel where I regularly share SEO tips as I grow SEO space, the SEO plugin for Squarespace. But thanks a lot, guys. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.